All right, guys. Hello, and welcome back to another episode and a whole new session of FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode on the Tail Last Channel. This is the beginning of the fifth session of this series so far, and I am looking forward to changing it up a, a bit from the last episodes that I've recorded and the last four sessions that I've recorded. Uh, I'm going to try to like change some stuff around. You might notice it, you might not, but either way. We're going to start on this fifth session of FTP Infinity Evolved and really start getting into the, more into the technology uh, aspects of this pack and uh, see where we can go with it. So three or more episodes coming right at you. Let's get started. So first, let's uh, get back into the first person mode. Hopefully this is all loaded up OK. Um, it should be running a little bit smoother this time. You guys will hopefully notice. Um, as far as I know, it should be running OK on the recording as well. So last time we left off, we created these things that I'm holding in my hand, these diamantine electron tubes. These are going to be used to make a few lasers that we're gonna to need to power an assembly table so we can start making circuits for different uh, kinds of machines that are in this mod pack, especially uh, from Industrial Craft 2. So, Let's go ahead and start off with that. If we go into our guidebook, which is actually not reset yet, let me just reset the mode quickly. Um, we can check and see just exactly where we are with the pack so far and what the next step is as far as moving towards the um, lasers and the assembly table and then the IC2 machines that we're gonna be using very soon, hopefully. So let's look at our guidebook. If we go into the tech tree and we go into machinery, I believe it is, uh, we still haven't made a carpenter yet, which is okay, because I don't really know what it's used for. Um, if we need it somewhere down the line, then we'll make it, but right now we don't really need it. What we need to do is make this assembly table, which is gonna be a diamond, a diamond gear, redstone, and obsidian, and then these lasers. We can make two of them because we have four of these electron tubes, so we'll be able to do that with some redstone and obsidian as well. Uh, so really what we're going to need to go get first is some obsidian. And bef in order to do that, we need to upgrade our pick. So if we look at it now, it says the mining level is redstone in red right there. Uh, so that means it can't mine obsidian. But if we throw a diamond onto it like this, let me just see if it'll do it without being repaired. So if we throw a diamond onto it like that, and it says durability plus 500 for one thing. Right here it doesn't say it, but this adds 500 durability to the pickaxe. And now it says mining level obsidian in red. So we've used up a modifier for that on our Tinker's Construct tool. So I think we have two, mod yeah, two modifiers remaining, but it's worth it because now we can get some obsidian. Uh, so let us use this pickaxe and go downstairs and get some obsidian, but we're gonna need probably a bucket of water to turn lava into obsidian. Uh, so let's go get a bucket of water first, a, a bucket of water. Uh, there should be a pool here. Yes, perfect. Let's take that and we'll go inside, head downstairs and get our obsidian from, I think I've uncovered a couple of lava pools, so we should be good on that end. But once we make a circuit, we'll be able to make a machine called the Metal Former. In this pack, a lot of the recipes require plates instead of ingots of uh, of ore. So like instead of an iron ingot, it requires an iron plate, which is actually two iron per plate. But what the Metal Former is going to allow us to do is just use one ingot per plate instead of having to use two. So that way we're not really like wasting uh, our precious materials on making the plates. Is that the only lava pool that I've uncovered so far? If it is, then we might be able to just, uh, oh, what is this over here? Let me see if this is a, no, that's not a pool. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can dig around this um, and kind of like expose the pool a little bit more just to see if there's more to it. And then we can uh, start mining obsidian from a different angle. Cause I want to use this side for fuel for our smeltery. Uh, we do have one of those, so I want to make sure we have fuel for it constantly. So we'll just dig around the outside of this lava pool and uh, see how wide it goes, and then we'll probably just dump some water on the opposite end of it and get some obsidian that way. All right, let's take this up like that. Okay, so that's probably okay. Let's like dig out a little bit of this. 
I think it goes past here too, yeah. So we're going to need a total, we're going to need six obsidian for the uh, assembly table, and then we're going to need two for each laser. Yeah, so we're going to need at least ten obsidian to do this. So let's go ahead and dump some water here and let that flow over the obsidian, or over the lava rather. And then we can dig here. Ooh, maybe not. Let's uh, do that. There we go. We'll put a bucket of water here just so it can um, turn any, any lava that we walk over right here into obsidian and we don't have to worry about falling in and burning ourselves because that would not be any fun for anybody. Uh, maybe for you, maybe you'd laugh, but I don't want to die. So forget you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten our one. Even though this is an upgraded pickaxe, it still does take a while to mine out the obsidian. I do apologize, but that's just the way it's going to go. Uh, for the pack we can add redstone modifiers onto this to make it mine faster uh, Which we might be able to do once we get back up to the surface, but right now I'm just really focused on getting the laser and getting the uh, Assembly taper say I can't talk today. I don't think I can really talk any day, but this day in particular um, Getting the laser and the obsidian assembly table up and running so then that way we can start making the circuits that we need for um, machines that are going to greatly benefit our efficiency in this pack as far as making other machines. Okay, so I think that's four we've gotten. It's going to take forever, man. Five. And let's get six. Six. Okay, that's six. Oh, seven? Okay, so we only need three more. Let's go ahead and get three more obsidian. So while we're waiting for this, how was your guys' Valentine's Day? Was it good? I had a good Valentine's Day. I didn't play any Minecraft that day, but it was good nonetheless. Alright, one more piece of obsidian. Come on. Let's go. Let's go! Party hard! I'm actually a little bit confused. Normally when water hits the side of lava, it turns into um, cobblestone, right? Not obsidian? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's a possibility. All right, there we go. So now we won't fall into the lava. Let's head back upstairs. And now we have enough obsidian to make the lasers and the assembly table that we need. After we make those, we're going to need some iron and some redstone to start making our first circuit. And then we'll start making the pieces for the uh, metal former and get them all together while it's making the, uh, the uh, circuit. So let's make our, our thing. So we're going to need diamonds, we're going to need redstone, and, I th and then we have the tubes, right? Okay. And then obsidian. So for the lasers, it's just obsidian, redstone and tubes like that. So we need two of those. Bam, okay. And then for the assembly table itself, for the assembly table itself, we need a diamond gear, which is a gold gear surrounded by diamonds so we need to make a gold gear let me just grab some gold just in case there's none in the smeltery if there is that's a plus do we have the we probably have the gear cast over there oh no i have it on me right here okay so let's go put that down into the um casting table let's see how much gold we have no gold in there so let's just like throw a couple in there just so we have it in in case we need more of it in the future we'll go put this stuff back kind of clear up my inventory too while i'm over here so we don't need that, that, we need those, so we'll keep those on us. We don't need, uh, we will need the iron, don't need the ore. Uh, what else we got? Let's throw some of the blocks away. So we got all this junk we don't need. Lots of junk in the trunk that we do not need at the moment. That's, that's some good clearing up right there. Gold should be almost done. Yes, it is. Let's knock it down to the bottom and make a gold gear. Then we can make our diamond gear and then it's a diamond on top too, right? Yeah, so we need a total of four di five diamonds actually. So let's surround this gold gear with diamond first. Like so, one, two, three, four. 
we get a diamond gear. Let's put the redstone in the middle, a diamond on top. Luckily, we have enough diamonds for this. <laughs> uh, doing it, making it look easy with that. So assembly table and two lasers are up and ready to go. Uh, we just need to find a place to put them down. Let's like make, uh, maybe we should put them on this side. Can I dig out this way at all? I might be running into the outside of the hill over here. But let's dig out as much as we can, just so we can make some more room in here uh, to put down any new machines that we have. I'm gonna keep that torch. We'll put it down in the walkway right here. There we go. Okay, we'll keep this wall separate. Oh, uh, let's do that. And then we'll keep that wall separating. Separating the area. We can probably put the laser in the table lasers and the table down right here but let me just dig out as much as i can we are eventually gonna have to move out of this cave i think i said it at the end of the episode last uh last episode um but not not yet we'll, we'll take an episode or probably a whole session to make some more space for ourselves up on the surface but for now this is this is enough okay how far can we push this back let's see I'm just gonna dig out all the way until all the walls are dirt because I'm pretty sure that's, if I dig through the dirt, it's gonna lead me to the outside of the hill because we are inside a hill. Um, so we'll just dig out as far as we can. Maximize our area. Yeah, that's probably good actually. Okay, so let's put down the assembly table here. Let's put down the lasers on either side of it right there. And then what we need to do is we need to start making our metal former. So to make the metal former, oops, probably type in the whole name since lots of things are metal former. All right. So for this electronic circuit, no, that's not it. It's this one, the machine frame. So for the iron chip set, we're going to need a redstone and an iron inside of this. So like this, if we put those together. It gives us options of redstone chip set or iron chip set. If we select this one, um it should start getting power from the lasers nope should uh -oh. why isn't it working it's supposed to be working oh dear did i break it somehow these need levers or something oh ah Screw you, aluminum. Hmm. Let me see. Let's, let me see if the book tells me. Hmm. Once you get those built and powered, get your assembly table and lasers going. The more lasers you have, the shorter some. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it should just be working. That's weird. It's supposed to just start working. Because these don't require power, I don't think. Maybe they do. Let me let me science it real quick. X it says zero out of one thousand RF. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we can just get rid of this <laughs> this wall here now. Okay. So let me break this engine and this lever. And then we'll try to add a connector onto this one. Like, th oh, not like that. <laughs> we want it on the side, not on the top. Put that there. If we put that there and then connect it with a coil maybe to this. Let's put some coal in there now. Because it does run on coal. Oh. Okay, this one's working now. So they do need to be hooked up. I totally thought they generated their own power, but I guess not. All right, so let me break this and we'll just move our uh, survivalist generator over because we don't need the thermionic fabricator at the moment. If we do, we can move it back. Uh, not a big deal. So let's go ahead and put this right here in the middle and then we'll add a connector here, a connector there, there, and there. And then we'll connect those and we'll connect those and we'll throw some coal in there and then that should start activating the other one too. No, it's not working. Hang on, one more shot, one more shot at this. Let's put the survivalist generator facing a different direction. 
So let's put it facing this way. We'll put one connector on the outside. We'll put the coal in there and let's put our cables linked up there and here. There we go. Okay, so it only outputs from one side. You can't output it on two sides. Got it. Now I know for the future. Let's keep our juice on. Let's just in case I start getting hungry. But this is going to start um, generating power to make this uh, red or iron chip set. It's going to need 200,000 and we're at 4,000. So it's going to take a little while. Uh, while that's working, let's make the other pieces for the metal former. So one of the problems that we're going to run into is we need rubber. Uh, I don't think I've gotten any rubber trees yet, but there should be some around here uh, somewhere. So let's start with that because I don't think I've gathered any. Um, I've gathered any yet from just cutting down trees and stuff. So let's break some of this rubber wood and it'll give us some some rubber. Hopefully we get a sapling or two. There's one there. I need at least one to replace the one that I replace the tree that I cut down. So let's take this out. Oh, there's another one there. Perfect. Okay, there we are. There's another one up here too, so I'll take that. Cool. And I saw another rubber tree. Yeah, there's, oh, there's a ton of them over here. We're good. Let's cut down this one. Okay, replace that. Oh, what the heck? It was growing on sand? That's odd. Okay, and let's just cut down one more, just, just for good measure because I have no idea exactly how much rubber we're going to need in the long run. Okay, so I have two saplings left. That's good. Let's run back to base. Oops. And uh, we'll start putting this junk together. 